Greetings. Let's get started on this course, 10 Essentials for Musicians. These 10 essentials are things that you need to know in order to be prepared for college level music theory course. In Well, before we can really talk about melodies, we have to have some universal way of being able to describe a tune, wouldn't you say? How, how do you say it without singing it? <laughs> the process of describing a melody in writing is what we could call notation. So we're going to cover traditional notation in the next couple of lessons, but first I want to try something more intuitive. How else might we be able to describe dit 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 da? Well, we could use the pitches, the letters of the pitches, G, 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 E flat. Or we could use uh, solfege syllables, you know, the Do, Re, Mi, uh, Sol, 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 Me. Or we could use scale degree numbers, which are similar, only they're not Latin, they're actual numbers. Five, 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 three, or flat three. Or we could use MIDI events. They contain everything that we need to understand the music, but it's not as universally familiar to traditional musicians. Or we can use traditional notation. It looks like this. It's accurate, but it's going to require training in order for somebody to understand. The musical alphabet begins with the letter A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And when we get to the letter H, A, Hey, 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 hey. It's an octave away from A, so we just start over again with the letter A. Uh, no matter how complex the music is, there are only seven different letters that could be used. That's a great advantage, and it's very accurate. But like building blocks, I guess you might say. Each level goes alphabetically, and a melody then skips or steps from one layer to another. Mary Had a Little Lamb would be... C, B, A, B, C, 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 B, 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 C, E, E. So, why don't we just use the letters? That's great. Well, there's a little more complication in that not every song is in the key of A. So, A isn't always where we come to rest. It doesn't always sound like a home. So, it may be accurate, but not as helpful as you might think. Okay, so what about solfege? Many people have traditionally fixed the problem of letters by using solfege or even kodai signals. We'll cover those some other time. Have you heard the famous Do, Re, Mi song from Sound of Music? Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Back. It's a great song. Many people know it. And many people use solfege. But the problem is learning those names for notes only adds a set of Latin words to learn in addition to the notes themselves or to the pitch numbers. I'd rather not add another language to have to memorize, especially when the pitches are altered to minor or something. So let's try to use numbers instead. So if Rogers and Hammerstein had used a number system instead of the solfege system, it might have gone more like one is I, for I am one. Two, for you are like me, two. Three, whose branch I climb upon. Four, a thing they yell in golf. Five, as in five golden rings. Six, a note that's more than five. Seven, up is a drink with fizz, which will bring us back to one. You with me so far? So we use the numbers, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that melody right there is joy to the world, only we didn't have rhythm in it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And three blind mice would be three, two, one, three, two, one, and so forth. Most every simple tune you know can be sung using numbers like this. Common tunes often start on step number three or five, and they work their way down to one. It's nice and simple. Uh, we did three blind mice. How about three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, two, three, two, one. 
Other melodies of a slightly bigger range, we might call it a five pattern. They start on five and go down like he shall feed his flock from Messiah. Five, five, four, three, two, one. For Jesus loves me. That's a little more complicated. Five, three, three, two, three, five, five. And it finishes with six, five, one, three, two, one. So why do we finish with the number one, like the letter A was? Well, because one has, I guess, no tension to it. One, two, three, there's a little bit of tension there. Three, two, one, five, one, eight, one. It's like a rubber band has been stretched out, and when it's at rest, then uh, that's when we're down to one. Uh, let's try it with this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Notice how we're using hyphens and dots and spaces or no space at all. That helps to show the rhythm, but we don't cover that till lesson three. Here's another one. Eight, 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 five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, eight, seven, six, five, six, four, three, two, one. Well, all of those melodic patterns are, like I said, a steps. You get to the bottom and you've arrived home. But you know what? That rubber band could be stretched both up or down. Not every melody just goes above the resting place and then comes to rest. There's some actually have a pattern that goes both above and below. Listen to this one. Five, five, four, three, three, two, one. One. That's the resting place. One, seven, six, five. So we went both five above and five below. Then it finishes with five, four, three, two, three, two, one, two, six, seven, one. Again, we finally finished on one, but uh, we had tension in both directions. So, well, maybe instead of a rubber band, we could uh, view this as a staircase, and the landing on the staircase is uh, where one is, where we come home. One, one, seven, six, five, one, two, three. Finish with five, three, one, two, four, three, two, one. But we started by going down. Well, if that was the case and we had a staircase, then uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Maybe we'd um, work best like this. Well, okay. Uh, notice that there are ups and downs for each melody, and uh, mostly the motion is stepwise or one step at a time. Uh, sometimes it involves skips, and those are difficult when you're on steps and you're an old guy. Every tune has a contour to the melody. We just introduced a uh, word there, contour. So some are more smooth with repeated notes and stepwise motion, and some are more jagged, uh, like a rugged uh, mountain range. So what is jingle bells? Let's try that one. Three, 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 five, one, two, three, four, 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 three, 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 five, five, four, two, one. There are three leaps in there, but something like 14 repeated notes and six stepwise movements, so that's pretty tame. Um, Eine kleine Nacht music by Mozart goes one, five, one, five, one, five, one, three, five, four, two, four, two, four, two, seven, two, five. It's entirely made up of leaps, 17 leaps, and no steps at all. All right, so we're trying to find some way of being able to represent melodies. Um, let's see how well you're understanding by taking the quiz.